I'm Rene Walling, and you're going to so hate me. Um, <laughs> should the Nitpicking and Fly Specking Committee come back tomorrow with a workable solution okay, for yeah. delaying ratification? <laughs> could it, would this apply to motions we passed this year? I believe Mr. Walling is making a motion to refer that to no. committee. No. Yes, it would uh, it depends on what we call. I wish to know if the uh, fly specking committee, the, the question that was raised earlier to the fly specking committee about delaying ratification would apply to what we are presentially provided passing I, today. Well, it depends provided on we came up with a standing rule amendment that was passed this year, it would be in effect for next year. If what we come up with is a, a motion that actually needs to amend the constitution, which having had a quick look it may, then that would be up for ratification next year, so you couldn't use it at that point. Thank you. Uh, or can I, uh, if, if we came up with a change to the standing rules that people would vote by two-thirds to put into effect. Sorry. Mm -hmm. if, if, the, if the nitpicking and fly specking committee comes up with a change to the standing rules, which the assembly votes by two-thirds should go into effect immediately, then it could be used after it goes into effect. But that, you know. We've got, we have, yes, we have one ratification outstanding, so it could use it this year. Right. <laughs> if. I'm, I'm looking for a speech against Mr. Bloom. I saw you rise. Mr. Chairman, this is, in fact, a speech against, but it's in the form of a question. If an author is writing multiple series and at some point writes a crossover novel uh, and, and has won for both <laughs> series and at some point writes a crossover novel that combines the two series, would then one of the or, or the other of the two uh, existing Hugos uh, be uh, retroactively um, <laughs> modified? I'm just gonna would it have to go to the uh, second place winner of that year, or, or would it simply become nullified? I'm just going to count that as a speech against, because I don't... I, I understand it. I don't think anyone on the committee can reasonably answer that, unless Mr. Olson wants to try. He said it was a speech against. Yeah, okay. I'm looking for Mr. Harris, are you speaking in favor? This is effectively in favor, but it's really just to, to reinforce Mr. Guerra's point to all of us. If we vote for this, I think we're accepting the reality that this is a complex area, and as in many other areas of the Hugos, we are going to trust the judgment of the voters other than where the administrator has an extremely high view. Even in the little subcommittee discussion yesterday, we ended up touching on this question about people with two sub-series in the same universe. You know, is that two series or one big one? You know, there is no way to legislate that, and it would be against the way we operate the Constitution to try to do so. So I think when we vote, we all have to consider, are we happy to trust the voters with that? If we are, then potentially this is a good Hugo. So can I, I'd like to read one sentence from the Constitution, if I could. <clears throat> all these questions about <clears throat> uh, how various issues would be decided. What the Constitution says in uh, section 3.2.11 is, <clears throat> the World Con Committee is responsible for all matters concerning the awards. So it doesn't matter what we say here or what the chair says or anything, the Hugo administrators decide all these issues. Uh, I was actually just about to ask that. I believe we have... Two and a half minutes against, 40 seconds more. Do we need to debate this further? Yes. Ms. Neal, come to the microphone, please. Terry Neal, I would like to move that we amend this to add a sunset clause for Worldcon 2021. That's four years. So the, second. okay, there's a second. Do we need to debate the addition of a sunset clause? No. no. All right. Yes, it, all those in favor of a sunset clause, please raise your hands. All right, hands down, all those opposed? The amendment passes, there's a sunset clause. For what year? 2021, sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, which is four years. Uh, do, is Mr. Walling, for what purpose does the member rise? 
Uh, no. No. You want to speak? Or? What are you? Well, the amendment was technically a speech against. Well, okay, Mr. Illingsworth. I have a brief nitpicking amendment, that being my job. I would like to make 3.3.y be 3.2.y, putting it in the general Hugo rules and not the list of awards. Section 3.3 .3 is the list of awards, so we shouldn't really have a clause in there that isn't an actual award. Is there, Mr. Harris, is there, are you objecting to this change? We do. The, the um, definitions that appear in 3.3 are what appear on the ballot. Um, the original paragraph was one long paragraph, I, I presume to make sure it was all on the ballot, but we found it hard to navigate. Our intention is, although we've tried to make the reading easier to follow, you do want all of this text to appear next to that um, nomination ballot submission. My concern would be if you take that second clause in another part of the Constitution, people may not read it and may not realize there's this additional constraint when they're nominating. We'll fix it some other way. Um, unless there is a second for Mr. Illingsworth's motion, I'm just going to dispense. Mr. Yes, Mr. Bloom. I would like to point out that that is within the Secretary, Secretary of the Business Meeting's prerogative to order and number the Constitution, and that is by standing rule. So this is so, relevant to so, the... Uh, the point is well taken. We'll handle it on the back end. <laughs> All right. Now to the matter. Do we need to debate the underlying motion with the sunset clause that now exists any longer? Yes. Uh, I believe that. So the amendment was a speech against. I'm looking for a speech in favor. There's, is there any objection to calling the question? How many people wish to speak? Raise your hands. Three. All right. This requires a two-thirds vote. All those in favor of calling the question, please raise your hands. All right. Hands down. All those opposed. I'm going to say the ayes have it. The question is called. On the matter of best series as amended for first passage, all those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? Uh, the ayes have it. The motion is passed for first passage and will appear on the agenda in 2017 in Helsinki. Yeah. Assuming that it passes, yes. We are now up to B.2. Miss, do you need a technical timeout? Move for a rest break. Yep. All right. <laughs> We're going to stand in recess for five minutes. What's, okay, what's our next section?